Hi guys, uh, today we'll be talking about healthy munching while traveling and uh, since it's the festive season and most of you guys will be traveling to your hometowns or going on vacations uh, so for the same we have come up uh, with this live today and uh, Miss Astha who is a traveler will be joining us uh, on this live in a minute Yeah, so we're just waiting for her to join the live. Uh, meanwhile, you guys can drop in a few questions regarding what you guys would like to ask us. Uh, so in this live we'll basically be discussing about what are the various benefits of traveling and uh, you know how to go about it how can you make sure that you don't put on weight uh, even while you're traveling and uh, what kind of snacking you can do while traveling how can you keep yourself hydrated uh, and things of this sort uh, so you know so regarding the same if you guys have any questions uh, and if you guys are traveling or are planning to travel in the next few days, please drop in your questions and we'll be taking them up. Just a second. She'll be joining us any minute now. Uh, yeah, so uh, we've already got a question that most tough are evening snacks that we often uh, The most easy one is Maggie. That's unhealthy. Okay, uh, so this is asked by Mr. Animesh uh, Jane uh, Right. Uh, yes, Mr. Animesh, you're right. Uh, you know, so Maggie is a little unhealthy definitely uh, We have a lot of uh, evening snacks available, uh, you know for you guys to try out on our platform of open secret uh, so, you know, you can definitely try them out. We have a lot of nuts. We have a lot of seeds as well coming up now. And apart from that, there are also a few healthy munchies and uh, super grain chips that you can try. Uh, so all these are healthier options that you can definitely try. Yeah. Uh, are there any other questions you guys can post and uh, we'll be taking them up.
I think it's getting a little delayed. Just give me a second. Uh, are there any other questions you guys would like to ask us regarding your traveling habits, regarding anything of that sort? We'll be happy to answer them. Uh, so curvy mom, uh, hello, hello ma'am, how are you doing? Hi Akhri Pasta, hi Priya Tagwani, Roshan, hi. Uh, if you guys have any questions related to traveling, please uh, go ahead and ask us. We'll be happy to take them up. Yeah, uh, Asta, I think you can send us a request to join the video, uh, to join the live from your end. Yeah, thank you. Uh, she'll be joining us now. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? How are you doing? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. How about you? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, we're very sorry about the delay, guys. Uh, but Asta is with us now. Uh, so uh, she's a traveler. So can you just tell us briefly about what exactly do you do? What is your Instagram page about and things? Sure. So yeah. I am a travel and mindfulness content creator. I uh, create, you know, uh, content around travel, mindfulness, okay. yoga, meditation, yeah. and a hmm. little bit awareness about food as well. So okay. here we are talking about healthy snacking. Okay. okay, okay, great. Uh, all right, Asta. So, uh, you know, starting off with traveling, can you like tell us briefly about a few places that you have visited, that you have gone to? Uh, okay, recently, you mean? Yeah, recently, maybe, you know, maybe after the pandemic. Hmm. Okay. So after the pandemic, I have recently done Hamda Pass Trek. So I really okay. wanted to go for a trek. That's good. So okay. I did it during the monsoons itself. It was a monsoon trek that I did. Um, so it is in Spiti. So we start from somewhere near Manali and we end until Spiti. Mm. And it's like oh, nice. super amazing four days trek. Um, mm -hmm. so it is a moderate category trek and oh. uh, very beautiful location, lots of experience and got to meet a lot of fellow solo travelers, which is what okay. I love about traveling. Okay. So you get to meet a lot of, you know, different people, mm -hmm. get to know their experience and right. yeah, I absolutely love this. Travel. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, so do you, do you, you know, follow a particular fitness routine or something like that? Because you just mentioned about the trek. So uh, do you follow something like that? Or are you able to manage without uh, going to the gym and stuff? <laughs> I am not really a gym person. Okay. Like, okay. Gym, I would be like super, super dead. <laughs> Okay. Within like one or two days of gym, I am into yoga. So I okay. do practice uh, asanas and mm -hmm. I do practice meditation. So which okay. really 
uh, helps me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. That's that's great. Okay. Uh, so coming back to the traveling part of it, uh, right? So you know, does it ever help you to deal with your stress levels on a daily basis if you travel a lot? It does. Definitely, mm-hmm. it does. Because okay. you know, traveling uh, to different places. Um, like even if I change a place, so if if like we are not feeling well or you know the mood isn't that good, and we get to change our location instantly, there is a change in the mood, right? Similarly, right. it happens with traveling. So suppose if I'm transported to uh, mountains, you know, certainly mm-hmm. there is a shift in perspective and uh, getting to see you know things a little differently uh, with what mm-hmm. I am right now. Uh, so yeah, it's amazing. Okay, that's that's good. Okay, so Miss Devi Nindana has said I want to taste your cool goodies. Uh, you definitely can, ma'am. Uh, you can go you on our platform. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So lots of amazing, amazing uh, yeah. munchies, and they're super, super healthy as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so going to the next thing, you know. So say if, uh, you know, if it's a working professional who's extremely busy with their uh work timings and their deadlines and all of that uh, so how do you think that they can manage uh, if they want to go on a vacation do you think that they should take time out to do that definitely i think everybody needs you know some time by themselves and when you know somebody travels solo or traveling with people you don't know there are too many groups that you can find you know uh, which plans these tours and travels where you can travel with different people right so mm-hmm. but then you get to know yourself you get to come out of your comfort zone at times and right. it's very important to know ourselves better and i think traveling literally did that for me and mm-hmm. it can certainly do for others as well so a lot of self awareness and a lot of you know uh, self learning and coming out of your comfort zone mm-hmm. so it's certainly that's helps. good yeah uh, so would you like to give us some tips you know since you mentioned that you're a solo traveler uh, right so would you like to give us some tips of how to go about it what all do you pack uh, when you go for traveling are there any particular snacks that you prefer uh so usually like if it is trek so of course you know i would carry something which is more of um protein or more you know uh, nutrient bases because we need a lot of energy so maybe right. energy bars or some nuts mm-hmm. and uh, you know protein um components so would carry that and then if it is um uh just a beach travel i would sometimes not even carry snacks because usually uh we can certainly find right uh, like the kind of menu that they're looking for and we can ask the uh you know chef to maybe make little changes that's what i do <laughs> okay so okay. uh yeah so looking for um, healthy options and okay. i think it's not always available but yeah i don't really really carry food all the time but mm. i certainly do when i know there are places i might not have access to uh, food or maybe healthy food so right. that's when i can right okay uh, you know so adding on to the same point uh, you know being a dietitian i would just like to mention a few guidelines here you know uh, regarding whenever you're traveling you want to keep your weight off you want to make sure that you know that your weight loss journey doesn't get affected even while you're traveling right uh, so there are a few things that you can really work on uh, things like you know keeping yourself hydrated make sure that you're drinking enough water and uh, Uh, can you guys hear me uh, okay uh, all right i think there was some network issue on your end uh, so yeah so like i was mentioning guys uh Yeah so like i was mentioning you know it's very important to make sure that you follow a few guidelines 
uh, right uh, so things like you know keeping yourself hydrated at all times is very important make sure you're drinking enough water that's very important and uh, of course you know if you can afford it and if possible stick to uh, bisleri or you know some kind of good kind of water basically don't have you know the one thing that they offer in hotels and stuff because if there's a water change again that can affect your digestive system to a very large extent uh, right and uh, secondly of course make sure that you're carrying a lot of healthy snacks good snacks like dry fruits and like you mentioned about energy bars protein bars you know so these things are essentials that you need to make sure that you're going to carry with you uh, uh, while traveling right uh, so Okay, so Asta just gave us a water reminder. So <laughs> I think everyone is turning the light. Reminder, and I'm like, let me keep myself hydrated. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I just want uh, to add to what you said, um, sure, Rivika. Sure. So yeah. during the um, treks, we are often because there is no access to you know uh, mineral water. So what we right. do is we drink the flowing water. whatever the okay. where okay. the water is flowing we, we can drink that it's it's right. considered safe right. but uh, usually there is a bottle that comes like a filter bottle which we mm. can find on amazon and other uh, you know websites okay. and that filter yes. bottle we can use so in that in this way we tend to save plastic as well right and right. you know we have we tend to save money i mean during treks we are mm. recommended to use that body okay okay yeah. okay all right uh okay great uh, so i think we have uh, one or two questions uh, so let's just answer them um we have makbul with us i just want to introduce him hi makbul so yeah, sure. he has brand registered with open secrets he okay. got a uh, glucose which is um healthy mm. uh like um you know makbul would you like to tell us about brotos yeah sure so brotos is basically sprouts and yeah, it's yeah. like ready to eat sprouts so usually yeah. we do starting at home it takes a lot of time but here on open secret snacks uh, brotos is available and you know just mix and match with right. other uh, items yeah right right okay Uh, so yeah, so there are several nutritional benefits as well uh, to having sprouts. You know, be it chana sprouts or moong sprouts. Uh, so one of the main things is you know the anti-nutritional factors that would otherwise be available in your dals uh, would be gone if you sprout them and eat them. And of course, the absorbability becomes a lot better when you're having sprouts. Uh, you know, so you can definitely consume them on a regular basis as well, right? Uh, so uh, yeah, so there's no, one question here. What is the best travel yeah, plan? Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, right yeah, Mr. Mr. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, uh, would you like to take that up? What is the best travel food plan, according to you? I think according to me, it depends. Like I said, where we are traveling, uh, depends on right. the location. If it is a remote location, uh, then you know, we maybe we can carry. some mm. food options healthy food options so like mm. i would uh, or maybe sometimes you know if there is no healthy like i was in a country uh, where there was very less vegetarian option and being a vegetarian okay. so i don't know what to eat so then i had mm -hmm. uh, i would buy from the local grocery i literally had bread and toast and fruits and nothing else okay. because in the hotel also uh, you know mm. they would mix everything with even the oil even if i had like fries you know or anything for potato veggies it was fish oil and i could mm. not eat because of the uh, smell the smell and yeah yeah so depends like um location is very important where we are traveling right. and according to location we can look for options otherwise of course you know carrying your own food if you can mm. is great great thing yeah so so can you What tell us how to say about it yeah yeah so you know so like you mentioned uh, i remember i'd gone to malaysia uh, when i was a kid so you know so even i'm a vegetarian so we kind of struggled with getting any non veg foods uh, right uh, so guys one of the best ways that you can make sure to uh, eat healthy while you're traveling and if you don't have any options available uh, you know to the country that you're traveling to uh, what you can do is you know just carry it from home you know you can make 
foods that are not very perishable uh, things like thepla uh, you know gujaratis make thepla you can carry thepla you can carry chakli you can even carry mathri uh, but uh, of course in the healthiest form possible uh, right uh, you know maybe carry it in a baked form or an air fried form rather than uh, deep frying everything and of course i think in any country fruits will definitely be available uh, no matter which country you go to right so make sure that you're having fruits on a regular basis and like i mentioned stay hydrated that is a very important uh, thing to do right absolutely uh, yeah uh, so do we have yeah, any other local grocery also helps because, yeah you know, yeah like definitely you find something on local grocery if the if it's not available in the restaurant or you know mm-hmm. your hotel Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Brotos, uh, uh, they have mentioned you can carry dehydrated foods from home. Uh, we definitely can, you know, like the sprouts uh, that you mentioned from Brotos itself, right? So that is also a great option. It's portable as well. Uh, you know, you don't have to really uh be very concerned about the weight of the product also. So that is also a great option, right? Uh, all yeah. right. Uh, so coming to the next thing, uh, you know, uh, what are the few benefits that you can mention to us about spending your time in nature like you just mentioned about going for a trek uh so you know what would you like to say are a few benefits about that i think there are amazing there are lot of benefits like i can't mm-hmm. really sum it up numerous okay. benefits around nature and uh, it's okay. not just you know it's not just um physically makes us fitter and better or happier right right also um, mentally it has a great great benefit so like sitting in nature and even if you're not meditating you're just being with nature makes hmm. like brings your stress levels really low and hmm. it also helps in you know uh, managing anxiety and hmm. little bit depression It, it like this is proven okay i'm not just saying it it is scientifically mm. proven nature has okay. that you know, power so just i mean i just try to walk maybe or just spend my time around nature whenever possible and i feel so much calmer you know mm. so it's it's very soothing so mm. this is my experience and i am sure everybody will have almost similar experience being in right nature. right okay uh, so uh, you know what are the few things uh, that are do's and don'ts for you uh, while you are traveling to a particular place any specific do's and don'ts yeah. we have telugu travel blogger so he is huge on youtube like he has okay. millions of followers on youtuber and his best friend um, oh okay. So, uh, okay. do's and don'ts for a destination definitely depends on the location, but there are very basic rules. So, suppose if you are mm-hmm. traveling to any place, be it any place, just do not, uh, you know, litter, do not uh, uh, trash the place because just, let's just try to keep it clean. We often right. go to mountains and we see all these, you know, trash everywhere. So. Mm-hmm. like what we can instead do is just carry your trash and wherever you find a bin just bin it okay and which is very important so let's just not litter let's let's be responsible traveler and uh, of course you know local from vocal so we have mm-hmm. these brands everywhere but wherever we travel just try to support the community try to support the locals and there are a lot of local uh, artists and local tra- you know uh, talents people have different talents are selling different products try i try to buy from them uh, mm-hmm. and in a way to support the local community uh, right. so these are two main essentials you know which come across my mind and just be respectable to the culture mm-hmm. also because every culture is different some culture i might not like things about it but still you know we can be respectful towards it so, right yeah. right okay okay that's that's great that's very well said i completely agree with you uh right uh yeah yeah but uh, you know from a nutritional point of view i would just like to add a few do's and don'ts here uh, right so 
uh, so you know so say if you're going to ahmedabad or if you're going to mumbai or if you're going to any other place uh, always make sure that you are having the local cuisine there okay that's a very important thing because uh, as per my experience no city can uh, you know make the best food if it is from some other place like for example you can't have an idli or dosa going to delhi uh right you won't get the same taste of course right i would rather opt for uh, chole bhature or parathas or something like that right uh, so of course it's not healthy but uh, i would say portion control moderation is key and don't deprive yourself of you know of something just because you are afraid of putting on weight uh right mm-hmm. so it's very important to enjoy the local cuisine that is one big thing uh, for me because even i follow it and uh, uh, apart from that uh, like i mentioned i make sure that you know in most of the hotels that we stay whenever we travel uh, you generally have a complimentary breakfast right at least in most of the hotels uh, so i make sure to uh, to have a good breakfast uh, you know first thing in the morning and then stepping out so that 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 just ensures that my junk food intake will be a lot lesser right so that is one of the uh, definitely do's that i do and you uh, whenever those, yeah. we have a lot of fruits and like healthy options yeah yeah exactly right so you have boiled eggs you have pancakes you have it is dosas whatever you want you know uh, in most of the hotels at least and uh, uh, you know secondly i would say that get enough sleep uh while you're on travel so that you can enjoy the next day uh and just make sure that whatever you're eating is very mindful all right don't just don't just keep eating the whole day thinking that you won't get this in another city but <laughs> it's definitely yeah you you have to make sure that you know that you're balancing it out don't have too much of a thing at the same time don't deprive yourself uh moderation is key like i always say uh so just make sure that you're doing that yeah yeah uh okay asta so is there anything else that uh, you know you would like to tell us about traveling anything else that you would like to add i would like to ask you instead ritika yeah yeah uh, sure that- while traveling to a remote like place like you said malaysia or china or where you know places where we do not have uh, vegan options <laughs> like hmm. even vegetarian is difficult so um, yeah. what do we do you know how can we uh, survive or like okay uh, see firstly i feel that in most of the countries nowadays vegan options are available uh, you know uh, because it's become such a widespread uh, thing now that most of the people who are even traveling out of india uh, they still do have vegan options available right but in so case it's if like china and all these still mm-hmm. you know it's very difficult it is okay yes. <laughs> okay all right uh, so you know so in such places maybe just uh, you know stick on to something that is vegetarian go for a salad go for fruits uh, right you can even opt for bread if there is no other option that you have and uh, like i mentioned before you know if whenever you travel to a place just make sure that you're researching on what kind of foods are available in that place right that becomes very important and if you already know that those foods that you generally eat on a regular basis are not available or uh, just carry them with you right so especially as indians we have a lot of vegan options even without being vegan right uh so like i mentioned about uh, the thepla uh, you know like i mentioned about the chakli so there are a lot of snacks and mixtures that you can carry uh, but of course for perishable foods like fruits or salads and vegetables all of these things uh, you'll have to make sure that you find a place wherever you're going to beforehand and just you know just opt for such options that is good for you and of course you know even on instagram you can just go ahead and ask any blogger or any influencer who travels a lot like you uh, right so just just ask anybody on insta and just you know they might just help you out with finding such places in china or malaysia or wherever you are traveling to right uh, so these are a few things that you can do yeah so to add to what you said there is yeah. a app called happy cow so happy okay. cow is basically a vegan uh, restaurant finder app so whichever oh, okay. 
country okay. you are or whichever continent you are mm-hmm. in you just like find the place or the city mm-hmm. or the country and then you will get to see the vegan options vegan restaurants okay. or you know, okay. where you can yeah oh okay so that's very so interesting i had no idea about that i will just mention it here it's called happy cow yeah yeah sure uh okay all right uh, so any yeah, other question so how can we maintain our food timings while traveling so like while traveling it becomes very hectic so mm-hmm. like say for example my whole day is planned you know like i would go for sunrise then maybe this mm-hmm. trek then some other trail then some other activity and then you know i might not come back to hotel or i might not come back to the place where i'm staying and it gets difficult sometimes to you know keep a track on the food and right. sometimes it's like too much of food if i'm going to a local place you know which is very popular and usually all these uh, street foods or all these you know local popular food places are nearby so it's like one mm-hmm. after the other <laughs> so either like yeah. eating too much yeah. or not eating at all so how can we balance it if you have any suggestions on that uh yeah so you know so when you you mention about planning right so you plan for a sunrise or a sunset and you plan for other things right uh, so at the same time in your schedule itself plan your food timings also right it can't be that difficult you know you just need like maybe half an hour or uh, you know half an hour or 15 20 minutes to have your lunch or your dinner or any other meal right uh, so just make sure that you're planning it within that time itself okay and uh, you know if it is half an hour here there it's fine but uh, don't delay your food timings a lot uh, and at the same time since you know uh, since you are sort of uh, mr prachit singh has sent us a request okay uh, all right uh, you know so like i was mentioning uh, just make sure that uh, you are finding the time to eat at the same time uh, you know it's not important just to roam around while you're traveling of course you should roam around you should travel but uh, your food intake is very important uh, you know make sure that you're not uh, screwing up your gut in any way or you know and end- ending up getting constipation or diarrhea is very common while you're traveling to places that you're not aware about right uh, so just make sure that time time pay you're eating whatever you eat even if you're at home the same timings try to follow even while you're traveling right or what you can do is set reminders that is one way you can go about it you know set reminders maybe at 2 pm i'm going to have my lunch at 5 pm i'm going to have a snack so things like that right so that way you will make sure we are in group then it becomes yeah. difficult so suppose if i'm traveling mm-hmm. with a number of people or a group mm-hmm. and it becomes mm-hmm. difficult and i often have seen like we get to skip mm-hmm. lunch most of the time whenever we are traveling so then it's like heavy breakfast and then dinner mm-hmm. then what happens like i feel bloated because i had heavy breakfast and i haven't eaten anything like lunch or anything mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. <laughs> having dinner so yeah. then what can we do like carrying munchies um, or- yeah 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 carry snacks you know carry snacks like we have these open secret nuts uh you can even carry open secret munchies open secret uh, uh super grain chips right uh even fruit is a great option that you can carry uh, right so even say even if you're traveling from one place to the other place uh like you mentioned you know in between there will be some store that is selling something right uh, so maybe just buy fruits from there and uh, make sure that you consume them or uh, try not to remain empty stomach for a very long time because it can lead to bloating it can lead to acidity and you definitely don't want to go through things while you're traveling right because it takes the whole joy out of traveling so so these are things that you can what is the hack for uh, you know not to get bloated or not to have acidity uh see what i generally do is i carry like roasted sauf and ajwain and jeera with me wherever i'm traveling to uh right so i just carry that with me in a small box and after every meal i make sure that i'm chewing a little bit of that so that kind of helps with keeping away the acidity keeping away uh the bloating everything right and like i mentioned again hydration you know drink a lot of water uh so that should take care of your bloating so roasted sauf ajwain and jeera just like yeah. that or we yes. like no no butter just like that 
just like that just chew it okay yeah yeah because what happens in water is you know if you boil it and if you take it right it's, it's not as effective uh, as when you chew it so i generally prefer to chew it directly instead of boiling it in water okay okay yeah. so usually like there are i've seen you know people uh, like they recommend that you boil uh, a jeera like and soap and it's wine with water and then drink it like first thing in the morning yeah uh, yeah you can do that but you know but like you mentioned you're traveling right you don't have such things when you're traveling yeah. so yeah so chewing is also a great option yeah all right yeah that's that's amazing one more thing i want to ask you is uh what would be food options for protein like vegan protein hmm okay so vegan protein uh, like i mentioned you know there are several options nowadays available for vegans uh, we have tempeh we have soya uh, you know we have uh, even amaranth is a great option for vegan protein right uh, so these are a few things yes amaranth is a great option for protein yeah i never thought of it what is that if you would like to uh, yeah so have you have you heard of rajgira no do you know rajgira no okay so you can just google it <laughs> and uh, yeah it's it's basically a type of a grain uh, which is very good for health right uh, and of course there's vegan protein vegan energy bars uh, that we have we have plant based protein powders as well nowadays uh, right so these are things that you can uh, definitely opt for while you're traveling you can carry them with you and uh, you can have them Okay, so and yeah. all the options are available on Open Secret Snacks. Yes, they have yes. fifty plus brands associated with them. So do take a look, yeah. and you can always, always order and keep it handy. Because suppose if I'm traveling tomorrow and I have most of these plans are very random, so I might not yeah. have hidden options. And if we yeah. go to stores, we do not find healthy options, which is Definitely. you know one of the excuses yeah. that we give. कि अभी मतलब यार है ही नहीं कुछ तो व्हाट डू आई ईट आई हैव दिस लेस का पैकेट दिस इज द ओनली ऑप्शन है इवन इफ इफ वी आर ट्रैवलिंग देन वी गेट दीस मंचीज ओनली बट इफ आई एम कैरिंग माय ओन मंचीज देन ऑब्वियसली यू नो आई डू नॉट हैव दैट एक्सक्यूज बिकॉज़ आई हैव ऑप्शंस सो कीपिंग अ स्टॉक इज समथिंग आई थिंक विल ऑलवेज ऑलवेज हेल्प not yeah. just for uh, traveling but like इफ वी आर गोइंग टू ऑफिस और गोइंग लाइक एनीवेयर ऑन अ डेली बेसिस we need mm. something to munch right so keep right. these right. Uh, mini munchies or things um, from open secret snacks we can order and you can it. definitely show a little yeah. bit of them the packages that i got uh, what yeah, are sure, okay, sure. yeah, yeah sure sure yeah sure Uh, so guys are there any other questions uh, you have to ask us regarding traveling okay so that is the brand open secret and okay. they have got these very tiny nut mixes okay which can yeah. be very easily kept in your bag if your laptop bag or your you know um any hand hand bag also you can Keep yeah. them with you. Yeah. These are very tiny. Okay, so you can just like have it like a one meal thing and one time snack, and that's like it. And there are chocolate bars if you have a sweet tooth. <laughs> so yeah. maybe just you know uh, have these chocolate bars. And yeah. Maybe cookies. So cookies are amazing. I tell you, these nut cookies are my favorite. Yeah. They are. They're my favorite. Yeah. Sorry. They're maida free as well. They don't have any maida in them. Yeah, yeah, no maida, no sugar. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. absolutely healthy and like peanut. So if you can see like peanut butter, um, on it. And this one is like white chocolate loaded with nuts, no maida and no sugar. Yeah. So yeah. And there's one other one in the dark chocolate also. So there are different options available and whatever. choice is yours you can certainly choose uh, or there are like you know 
these chips packets like ragi chips or chips yeah and, yeah and uh, yeah. we mentioned photos so depends yeah. on what you like can always order and keep a stock of it Definitely. and you can Definitely. always carry it with you so sometimes yeah. it happens no i'm in an office meeting or i'm going to a conference and i'm mm. sitting for hours and i feel hungry <laughs> then i don't have an yeah. option then i get to eat whatever is available there so yeah. i have yeah. my you know snack handy so can certainly eat so not just right. traveling but like otherwise on a daily basis yeah yeah definitely so all these snacks that you yeah. just showed us all of them are portable uh, right so you can you can just carry them if you're traveling to your hometown or if you're going on a vacation anything you know so they're amazing the taste is also great right even uh, sitting at all no on a daily basis we get to have our uh, drinks like people who yeah. have coffee or chai and then we want some munchies with it So just like having it handy on a daily basis. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Will be yeah, something yeah. to keep our health on track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is a great point that you mentioned, Asta. That is great. Uh, right. Uh, so I just have one last question to ask from you. Right. Uh, so whenever you know you travel and you come back home and everything. uh how do you think uh, which is the best way to get back to a normal routine right because you've just traveled and your mind is somewhere else and you know how do you kind of get back to a normal working daily routine so i try to you know when i get up first thing that i do is my asanas and meditate okay. which really okay. helps me uh set the mood for the day and then i make sure that i make a list of you know whatever i have to do on my schedule and my task and uh, that keeps me going but somehow if i'm not able to do it if i'm traveling i just make sure i come back and i follow this it okay. uh, brings me back to the <laughs> schedule okay okay that's great uh, so you know one thing i would like to say here is you know whenever you travel and you come back don't be in a rush to get back to your normal routine right because you've just gotten back give yourself some time to get adjusted uh, to your normal routine again be very gradual about it and uh, don't just rush into it thinking that you have to do it that you know that you need to do it uh, so just give yourself some time and get back gradually to it it's completely okay yeah uh, okay uh, all right asta so it was great uh, having this session with you uh we'll just wait for another 2 yeah. 3 minutes and see if anyone has any questions sure it was lovely yeah. having all those insights uh rebika knowing the same here, same here. yeah same yeah how to you know uh, be not bloated yeah lokesh is saying it's yummy have you tried uh, thank it? you lokesh <laughs> So yeah I mean uh, I am so grateful to have come across um brand like open secret which is you know yeah. a combination of so many brands that we can choose from yeah. I always used to eat unhealthy because there was no option so if we yeah. if you are at, you know if you're trekking then you already have so much weight to carry <laughs> right <laughs> because you right. have your clothes and everything else yeah. so it becomes difficult you can't really really carry all the food all the time and you don't really know yeah. what to carry but these yeah. small nut mixes and small small things to so we can definitely carry right these nut mixes yeah. and yeah. like cookies it's very easy like it's very handy exactly yeah yeah, yeah. i think it's yeah. amazing So guys if you have any question uh, we have Ritika Vidat and she is a nutritionist so if you have anything related to food or nutrition that you want to ask i'm sure she'll be very happy to answer your question and it's a golden chance guys ask ask me yeah and you know and if you're interested in traveling and stuff you can ask questions related to Asta as well <laughs> Yeah so there was this one question i missed in the beginning someone was asking about which protein uh, uh, uh you know protein bar to have uh, right uh, i missed that question so uh, protein bars basically in the market nowadays you'll find a lot of them available uh, just make sure you you are reading the label properly uh, don't buy something that is very high in sugar 
uh, go for something that's filled with nuts or dried fruits or anything like that and has natural uh, sugar content in it rather than added sugar and uh, we have one of the brands called fit protein bars uh, on our platform so you can definitely go ahead and uh, you know try them out they're really good uh, even that is a great one that you can definitely try So talking right. about protein bars, Rubika, I have a question. So yeah, when sure. we are jogging or when we are into some uh, adventure or any physical activity for that matter, we tend to consume three, four protein bars, you know, in a day. So how much of protein, like intake, we can do, like in a day, or how mm-hmm. many number of, like you said, don't overdo it or don't overeat, right? So mm-hmm. what is the right <laughs> quantity? yeah so basically from a nutritional point of view uh, you know 0.8 to 1 grams per day of protein is what we consider to be safe uh, so you know so for example uh, you know if you are say 70 kg and 70 into 0.8 would be whatever so that would be the amount of protein requirement for that day but uh, but you know since we are not someone who uh, who can count the protein in that particular food uh you know so what you can do is just make sure that you're including protein in every meal that you're taking uh right so for example if it is breakfast and if you're having an oat porridge uh in your breakfast right so along with the oats porridge you can include two boiled eggs or egg whites and if you're a vegetarian or a vegan you can definitely opt for some boiled chana or boiled sprouts or anything like that right uh, similarly even for your lunch make sure you're including some sort of protein and the same goes for dinner as well so this way you will so make sure that having dinner matlab dinner usually like i tend to have light dinner hmm. um so... okay so yeah so so you know so if you if you are an vegetarian you can include an omelet along with the soup or you know maybe some boiled eggs along with your soup uh, or if you are a vegetarian you can opt for something like dal ka chila besan ka chila you know so even these are great options uh, for your protein and take at night okay all yeah. right considering how important protein is for yeah. overall nutrition yeah yeah Okay. Uh, I so think one uh, last thing I have yeah. to ask you is, yeah. how important yeah. is it to have supplements? So, like, we tend to have lot of supplements on a daily basis, and sometimes mm. we don't even consider a nutritionist or a doctor, and we just like you know pop in these uh, supplements and these pills. Um, just considering, okay, I am <laughs> sure I have my body has shortage of it. So, yeah, like. or we can you know food alternative options are good or you know we can't meet our uh, nutrient requirements so what is the uh, right thing to do yeah so first thing is you don't need supplements if you're having complete balance needs throughout the day right mm-hmm. and if you really want to have supplements it's very important to make sure that you're getting all your blood tests done and if and only if it is you know pointing out towards some kind of a deficiency for example vitamin d deficiency is very common in indians uh, right uh, so make sure you get that checked every once in 3 months or every once in 6 months right so that supplement if it if you are deficient in it then definitely go for it have it uh but otherwise you know if you're not deficient in any any kind of nutrient i wouldn't really recommend people to have a supplement on a regular basis like for hair people do go for you know um collagen biotin yeah biotin yeah yeah, yeah. so it's not required yeah so again it's not required right you can get enough amount of biotin or enough amount of you know a good food for your hair uh by food itself right you don't really need to have supplements for that uh make sure you're having a lot of fruits and vegetables on a regular basis nuts nuts and seeds is very important for your hair growth uh so make sure that you're having that on a regular basis so you know so these are small things that uh, you can add into your diet uh, rather than going for something like a supplement and about vitamin d it is often said that just you know sunbathing really helps uh no vitamin d intake is that true our body can absorb uh, vitamin d like that or 
uh, see not really uh, like i said you know supplementation especially when it comes to vitamin d and vitamin b12 becomes very necessary you cannot take that lightly uh, right so if you are deficient in it please have the supplement uh, don't you know don't consider that it will have some side effect on your body or sitting in the sun is going to be enough because there are certain certain vitamins that will not get fulfilled unless and until you supplement with them right uh, so i'm not completely against it like i said but if it is required it's required just have it you know hmm. yeah need to have a check like yes. what is your yes. and instead of just yes. popping in everything yes yeah. yes definitely definitely have a check up Absolutely, yeah. that was insightful. Uh, thank yeah. you for sharing all the information. Yeah. I'm sure it thank might have you. helped all the, you know, listeners. Yeah. Yours. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Thank you, Asta. Thank you for your time. It was wonderful having this live with you. All right. Same here. It was lovely. Yeah. Talking yeah. To thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. 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 You have a good Bye. day.